Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature floor-to-ceiling fireplace made out of paper and plastic stir straws. This has a flickering light on the inside and also doors that open and close. Hope you enjoy! I am using for this project a piece of a flyer from a gym and I'm a little fluffy so I don't really go to gyms too often. I figured it was better to upcycle than to throw it out so I cut out the shape that I wanted for a firebox to start with. I'm using the back of my knife to score one side and the other and then to fold them inward. Then score along the horizontal line at the top and then fold down and glue into place. At the bottom I punched in a little hole and that's going to be where my balloon light goes later. And then a piece of paper at the top will complete the firebox. Then I gave it a small coating or a light coating of white paint and this is just enough to kind of cover the, the black and neon green on the inside. And then I'm using some bathroom tissue to add a little texture to it. This is a very easy way to add like a light stone kind of texture. You can just put that on the inside and you can go through and put in a little more texture with a ball tool while it's still wet. But in this case, I just used some little Mod Podge to go on top of the tissue and then some white paint to give it a second coat. Then I cut in a slit at the bottom and another slit at the top that lines up directly. And then make the slits long enough, wide enough to fit a piece of wire. So you can slide the wire back and forth like so. And then I'm using plastic packaging to simulate glass doors. And four little pieces of wire. Glue the wire so it protrudes from each of the corners. And then just to give mine a little, to make mine a little more sturdy, I coated them on both sides with resin. And then I'm using a piece of silver thread to act as a hinge. Then I'm using these colored um, streamers for the metal. You can use um, tea light candle, aluminum foil, or whatever else you have handy. But I had the streamers right there on the desk and I decided to put them to use. And then a small piece of wire for the handle. And then to finish off the firebox, pieces of paper, more pieces of the same flyer on the sides. And this is just to frame it out. And then I'm actually using some silicone um, caulking or silicone caulking on the inside. This is just to help blend out the seams, but that's completely optional. It just helps to give it a smoother look. And then I painted the black frame and added on a small piece at the bottom to be a, um, a hearth and also some pieces underneath as a support system. and then everything completed with the door in place. For the rest of the fireplace, I'm using this movie theater butter popcorn box. And this is why I should go to the gym that they sent me the flyers for, but I'm not, who are we kidding? And then I cut out where the whole firebox would fit. And then once you have that in place, you just wanna make sure you're covering up any little portions that are gonna be seen. So like the sides of the hearth, you definitely want to cover those. 
and then I made this small piece to go at the top by scoring the sides and folding it. And this is going to be the header. This will fit right underneath the mantle. And glue that in place. Now because I'm going to blast spray paint this whole thing, I didn't want to put the, the firebox in until the last minute, so I wanted to make it sure it would keep sliding in and out, which is why it's not in the box right now. And then to make the top of the fireplace, I scored the sides of the box and folded them. And then I put the top that I cut out back on top and glued it in place. To add a little architectural interest to the sides, I went on ahead and did two more columns the same way I did with the headers. But this time, I used my ball, my ball tool and embossed the paper. And then you can glue those in place as well. For the mantle, I folded a piece that would fit from one side of the box to the other and then I drew the lines there and used my ball tool to emboss those as well and then put little side pieces in there. And then I glued the mantle on top of the header and then I used some plastic coffee stir straws to add some other visual interest and to fill in any gaps. The space between the mantle and the header and also the frame the very top of the wall piece. Now the balloon light I order on eBay and I've used these in a couple of projects before. I cut off the base of it and then I painted the top of it orange and yellow. Then I went outside and picked up some sticks and while I was out there I spray painted my uh, fireplace which is why you see white paint on my hands now. And while it was drying I quickly went on ahead and painted a small painting to go at the top. This is just to cover that little hole that I cut in earlier and that hole is there just for wire for future projects. And then to give it some Christmas decorations, I decided to go with some quick and easy spiral trees. And you can find any item that has a little point at the tip and that gets progressively larger. Any sort of cone shape item that I'm using a mixture of the pencil and the makeup in order to form one cone. But if you'd like, you can also shape one out of clay and bake it and then just shape your wire around it. And then bunch it up to make the sides um, a little taller or shorter as needed. And I decided to go with gold with uh, jewel tone glitters. So I have these little sample packets that I purchased at Michael's. They were like um, 20 of them for like three or four bucks. And then I painted my wire pieces in a corresponding color of paint. Try to get inside as much as possible, but don't worry if you can't reach every single piece. And then run over it again with glue. Then I rolled the glue in the glitter and let it dry. And there you go, a completed fireplace. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!